Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you the second installment on my Loving Lately series. This is basically like my current favorite sort of video. I don't want to do these every single month. I really just want to do these once I have like a collection of maybe five or six items. Not too many items, but things that I'm really enjoying and I just want to share with you guys, um, talk about my experience with them, all that kind of stuff. And you guys seem to really enjoy my last loving lately. It was a little bit of makeup and lifestyle and I think that that's kind of the way that I want to do these sorts of videos. So let me know if you're enjoying this series. But yeah, I'm really excited to share all these items with you. It is primarily beauty that I have here just because these are the things that I've been like reaching for really often. So I don't know why this keeps happening, but Louis is on my lap yet again. So just a warning if you see his tail or if he sneezes or if you guys can hear him purring. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but he is purring right now and I just, I just love that he wants to snuggle with me. So I just accept it and Hope that you guys can't hear it. Yeah, let's just hop into it and get started with the favorites. The first thing I really want to talk to you guys about is um, this item. This is the Kapari Lip Glossy. I love this product. I am so happy that I decided to purchase this one. I actually bought this, um, if you guys remember a few months back in my empties video, I shared my experience with the Agave Lip Mask by Bite and I shared like the photo of how bad my lips reacted to that mask and how just bad my lips were looking because it was earlier in the winter and I was trying to use all these different lip balms and nothing was working for me um, and I decided to just like purge all of my lip balms. I just got rid of everything that was in my rotation and I picked this guy up. It fixed my lips so fast. In a matter of a couple days, um, I wasn't wearing any lipstick or lip liner or even other lip glosses, but within a matter of a couple days, this sorted out my lips so fast, and I was so, so happy with the results. And now this is the only lip balm that I own. It's the only lip balm that I'm using. I actually have two, but I don't know where the first one that I purchased is anymore. Like, it just kind of has disappeared for the last week or so. But I had to pick up another one as a backup, and I am very glad that I did actually. I put this on after I do my skincare in the morning and my skincare at night. I don't feel like I have to top this off before I go to bed. I don't feel like in the middle of the night I'm waking up with dry lips or throughout the day I have really dry sensitive lips where as I felt like that was just my normal for years. And yeah, this just sorted everything out. It is primarily coconut oil and it's fabulous. It is so, so, so good. And I know I'm talking so much about this one little thing, but guys, like, it really fixed everything. I'll show you, oh, there goes Louie. Um, I'll show you the picture of what my lips were looking like prior to picking this up, and guys, it's like a transformation. The fact that my lips are so comfortable, they feel so hydrated, highly recommend this. This is a vegan product, cruelty-free, of course, and um, yeah, it's about $16 Canadian, which is kind of pricey, but there is a fair amount of product in here. I think this looks beautiful on the lips alone because it really does deliver that kind of glossy look. So you can wear this on its own. It works so good. I and mean, this is going to be like my staple for forever now. And now that I have sorted out my lips, I feel like this is going to last me a long time because I only wear it twice a day. So very, very happy with this purchase. On the topic of lips, I have a lipstick to share with you guys. If you guys have been like checking my description box for the last like month or so, you'll have seen this lipstick mentioned probably in about 80% of my videos. It is the Mellow Matte Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Nude. It's this beautiful, almost mauve nude shade. It's phenomenal. It just goes with just about everything, especially because I'm trying to pan the Benefit Rockateur blush, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks at the moment. I just feel like it really complements that blush so well. And it really caught me off guard. Um, I didn't expect to really love this because I actually got this in an Ipsy bag this time last year or maybe even earlier because I haven't been subscribed to Ipsy for just under a year now. But I got it in an Ipsy bag. I think I swatched it once and then put it back in my collection and literally never touched it, never even wore it until like February. It's the lipstick that I'm wearing. I'm also wearing the NYX Butter Gloss on top of it, which kind of mutes it down a little bit. This is beautiful. I've never heard anyone talk about Mellow Cosmetics, but 
Now that I have tried this and I've been reaching for it a lot, I'm actually really curious to try more. It is cruelty free and their entire line is vegan as well. I think it's just a really good product and I had to mention it because I've just been wearing it like almost compulsively. Like I can't even reach for other products on an everyday basis because this one just does the job for me so well and I've used a fair amount of it um, within this past month and I can see myself just still reaching for this in these colder months um, since spring doesn't seem to really be on the horizon here for us. The next item is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys consider to be a favorite. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and if you're familiar with my channel you may know that this is actually in my Project Pan Roulette that I'm doing with Alexi. So I am working on panning it but guys I'm enjoying every moment of using this beautiful beautiful bronzer. This is like just so, like the name suggests, it's so buttery and it gives you that natural bronze. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I've, I've loved using this every single day. I actually use it with a stippling brush so it really just helps diffuse the color and it just gives that really healthy, natural look to the skin. Um, I don't think I'll be able to pan it soon but I, I don't care because I've really, really been enjoying reaching for this. These are a little bit more pricey for a drugstore product but Considering the fact that I've been panning this only for about two months now, but um, actively working at using it, I can see how much product there is in here. And when I first got this, like a year and a half ago or so, I was using it like nonstop for probably four or five months and I barely even made a dent in it then. So yes, it's a little bit more pricey when it comes to drugstore products, but it is 100% worth the price point because it applies beautifully, it just diffuses and it has this like seamless natural look while also just like giving you just this beautiful almost glow because it slightly has a satin finish it's not a totally dry matte formula and the smell is just just beautiful it just smells like sunscreen or like a tropical vacation like it's just so good so yeah I've been loving this one so much I feel like so many of you guys probably already have this in your collection so this is a reminder to reach for it if you already have it and if you don't already have it, you guys are missing out. Like I, And I don't like to say like you need to pick something up, but I would recommend that you pick this up if you are looking for a bronzer or if you have been curious about it, 100% I recommend it. Um, the only reason I would not recommend it is if you don't like coconut smells, basically. That would be the only reason I'd say don't get this guy. This next product is a skincare product and it is newer to the market, but I haven't heard anyone talk about it and I've been really really loving it. It is the First Aid Beauty Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask and this is not a full size. This actually came in like a First Aid Beauty kit that had four products to try. Um, so this is I think just under half of a full size but I know I'm gonna need to get a full size like soon because I've been really, really loving this. It's a jelly sort of consistency, which is so weird. And you can see, like I've used basically all of this pot, but it's like a jelly consistency. And I just use a old foundation brush, like a flat foundation brush, and I brush it onto the skin. And I leave it on for like 15 minutes or so. And it has this like slightly cooling effect that just feels so refreshing and it doesn't dry like to a like really tight, uncomfortable sort of feeling. It just really feels very fresh on the skin. And yet with the vitamin C in here, I have really noticed a difference in the way that my scarring on my skin looks, my hyperpigmentation on my cheeks looks through using this. I found that this really has helped to brighten and lighten my skin and it just feels so good. And the mornings when I don't have a lot going on and I'm like, I'm slowly getting ready for the day, I've been reaching for this and I use it in the morning just because it kind of it kind of wakes me up but it also just helps me feel like, I don't know, like it, it's just a really nice feeling to kind of treat yourself in the morning. I definitely feel like I'm going to absolutely love this product come the summertime. Um, I just feel like even before makeup or after a long day, this is just so refreshing and this might be the kind of product, I'm, I don't know for sure, but this is the kind of product you might be able to like put in the fridge so that it cools down and then you would apply it to the face like cold and I feel like that would just be so nice. I haven't tried it that way because all I want to do is be just like cozy and warm right now, but 
I love this. I feel like it is something that I haven't heard anyone else talk about. And if you can pick up a sample at a Sephora, I would 100% suggest it, especially if you have um, acne scarring like I do, or if you just have really irritated skin as well. I just really feel like this is just so comfortable and soothing. I'm surprised I haven't heard anyone else talk about this. I, I do think First Day Beauty is pretty, um, I don't know, no one really talks about it. It's underrated, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. I love this so, so much. This last item you'll have seen on my Instagram a couple of times now if you guys follow me over there. I have featured it in Instagram stories. I did a post about it. I featured it in the, like a flat lay with all of my like face of the day sort of products. And I can't stop reaching for it. It is so beautiful and I'm so happy that I have this guy in my collection. It is the Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. Mine is in the shade Amethyst. I don't really consider this to be like an amethyst tone, but regardless, I, I love it. It's like a baby pink almost kind of shade that has a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. It has so much dimension to it. I feel like I've been reaching for these liquid glitter shadows so much. I know I mentioned one in my previous Loving Lately video, but they're just so easy and they have this just really beautiful, beautiful effect. I'm wearing this just on my inner corner today. I just felt like it didn't really go on the lid with this sort of look, but I am wearing it on the inner portion of my eye and I think that it just like really opens up and brightens up the eyes and give something a little bit different to the look as well. And I've just been loving this. I think that this performs very similarly to the Stila Glitter and Glows, which are so popular. It really is just a beautiful product, and I wasn't gonna mention it because I do think that these are a little bit spendy, to be honest. These are a bit more expensive than the Stila ones, but every time I've worn this, I get compliments from somebody, and like, this will be like I'm going to the grocery store and I have this just like on the inner portion of my lid. I just applied it like with my finger and it's really just a light wash of it and I get compliments walking around the grocery store or from the cashier and um, like just every day out and about sorts of things. Literally every time I've worn this, I've had a compliment on it. It's just so easy to apply. I'll use it like honestly, even when I'm getting up for work and getting ready to be out the door by seven o'clock, I still will reach for this because it it really is just a really easy to wear product because of the tone, but it also is just so easy to wear because of the application pro process. And I love it. I love it so much. I would definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for something like this. So I don't really have any sort of like lifestyle or home sorts of things to talk about just because I haven't purchased a lot of that kind of stuff lately, but I have a food favorite and it is a junk food favorite that I feel like you guys are gonna just like laugh when you see that I'm talking about this, but literally I can't stop buying these, so I have to share them with you because I have been addicted to these cookies. These are the Oreo cinnamon bun. <laughs> these are so good, guys. These are like, these are my favorite Oreo, and if you, yeah, you guys won't know this about me. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing for me to admit, but I love Oreos so much and I always have at least one pack of Oreos in my cabinet, but at the moment I actually have four packs of Oreos all in different flavors and I have Oreo cereal right now too because I love Oreos so much. I don't know why I have this obsession with Oreos, but regardless, I do, and I have to share these with you guys. If you haven't seen these around, um, I started seeing them probably in like October or November last year, and I literally bought one of these like every week or every other week since I started seeing them. I love these so much, they're so good, and they taste like Dunkaroos, which sounds really weird, but like, I don't know, I just, I love them so much, they're so good. You have to try them if you love like sweets, if you like, desserts um so good i'm so obsessed with them it's ridiculous and like every time that we run out of them like within the next day i come home with another thing of cinnamon bun oreos and patrick just has to laugh at me because i'm obsessed with them they are so so good have any of you guys tried these cinnamon bun oreos they're so good let me know what you think about them if you have tried them and if you've tried any of these products, actually, let me know your thoughts on them. I would love to hear your opinions. I just really want to have a chat in the comments 
box if, um, if any of these things are things that you're curious about and I didn't really offer you enough information, definitely let me know down below. And yeah, let me know how you guys are enjoying this series. If this is the kind of thing that you want to see more of on my channel, I would love to do these every few months. And yeah, this has just been so much fun. I really like doing these kinds of videos. I feel like you can tell that I'm just like, just having fun with it. But yeah, that's absolutely everything for today's video. I know this got a little, little rambly, um, but that's just the fun of it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and thanks for hanging out with me and hearing my crazy thoughts. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.